Imagine that all of your liberties, your rights, and your freedom have been taken away from you. And imagine if someone put a camera in the room with you and the group of people who are being imposed upon, what they would see. Because you would definitely figure out a way to get out of that hell. Run! This year, um, Misha and Joe pulled me to the side and Anthony and said, we want to go to a darker, deeper place for Cato. And uh, that doesn't mean that it's going to be negative. Uh, it just means that there's just going to be a lot more added to the fire. And so it was really watching some really weird movies and trying to figure out, like, what does that mean? What in, did you watch? Uh, I watched a lot of serial killer uh, uh, documentaries. Yes. Um, not because he's a serial killer, uh, but because um, it's that kind of... Uh, the point of view that they have. And so that kind of place is very dark. And I just wanted to know, I, I'm looking for tools, things to, to figure out how to, to build this character to go even to go even greater mm -hmm. places, and yeah. it was exciting. I felt like every script there would be like a little nugget of information that I didn't know, particularly about Harriet's mm -hmm. character, mm -hmm. um, which, I mean, I know we're supposed to talk about my character, but her character in this show is so... Insane. It's, she's so good playing her. She is like a superhero mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, but they also give her enough mm -hmm. of um, a realistic kind of human person, like a real person did all this stuff, did all this really scary, terrifying, stuff and it's it's just been so exciting to see that character come to life throughout the episodes yeah. and there's like a really big surprise episode towards the end that I cannot wait to see any hints you can give us no not just one. know just know that you've never seen it done anything on television. like on television Ever. yeah it's so exciting she's so good well here's the thing Harriet Tubman could not read she was not able to read a single thing, and yet she was able to read the stars and, and, and find the North Star and find her way off of the plantation, having never taken a step, and find her way 600 miles to freedom. She never studied botany, and yet she's able to, to observe her environments and look at trees and plants and come up with cures and, and lead the path and share that path with others. She never studied theology. She couldn't even read a single word of the Bible, but yet she had a, a depth of yes. faith that was the governing force for her taking this journey time and time over and over and over again. So that in and of itself tells me that she's super, super human. Yes. <laughs> and a superhuman <laughs> actor performing her, I'll tell you that. Excited to see the rest of the season. Run, Rimmy. To me, it's so funny. This is such a serious show, and people are like, are Rosalie and Noah getting back together? I'm like, really, guys? Can we have, like, a, it's a serious show? But what do you guys think is going to happen um, um, in season two? I don't know if they get back together. I can't tell <laughs> yeah. you that. It's tough they because, try. yeah. They try, but, yeah. you know. They're star-crossed yeah. lovers, you yeah. know, and unfortunately, in any other era, they'd be able to live happily ever after, but... The nature of 1858 really prevents love from blossoming between yeah. the two of them. Yeah.